Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at how we can use boxes within our user interface to organize our content a little bit better. So for, the, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the boxes already, if you go down to the panel tab within your, pa uh, within your palette, you have a variety of different boxes. Now what I'm not going to do is show you how to use each and every single one of these. Instead, I'm going to let you sort of read through these and experiment with them. I'm going to show you the vertical box, which is probably going to be the main one that you use and go through some of the main settings and main functionality from that, which is going to transfer over to the other types of boxes. So somewhere that you would use a vertical box to organize your content would be somewhere where you have quite a few of very similar objects. For example, in my main menu, we are going to have four different buttons. We want to make sure these are all perfectly aligned and they all stay together. And the best way to do this is to use a vertical box and essentially just stack them one on top of each other. So within your palette, go ahead and grab a vertical box, just drag and drop and place it into your scene just like that. Now in terms of actually getting your button to stay in there, what we're going to do is we are going to go over to the hierarchy tab in the left hand side here and what we're going to do is parent the button into our vertical box. So essentially the button is, become, is gonna become a child of the vertical box and it is going to sit within that. So with your button, so just grab your button, click it, drag it and just drop it on top of the vertical box. And you'll notice now that the button has gone and placed itself within the vertical box. And if I click the vertical box now, Anything that I move within this is going to move with it. Now, by default, with this vertical box, you're going to notice all of the elements, including our button, is going to scale with that. And that's not necessarily what you're going to want to have. So what we're going to do is select our button here and we're going to show you how to change something, uh, some of the behaviors like that. So if we select our button, you can see over in the top right hand corner within the details panel, we have got horizontal alignment and we've got vertical alignment. And these are pretty much self-explanatory. You've got left align, you've got center align, you've got right align, and you've also got fill. So the fill is going to stretch it to the size of the box and that's not necessarily what we want. Instead, we just want to center it within our box just like that and it's going to keep the size that we put in there before. You've also got vertical which is up and down and from here you can align it to the different places um, but really you are just going to use and leave that exactly where it is. Now let's go ahead and add in another button to this so you can see just how useful these vertical boxes are. So within my hierarchy tab on the left hand side I'm going to click my button, press Ctrl C to copy this and Ctrl V to paste it. And then you can see this has become parented. I'm just going to grab my new button and just also drop that into the vertical box just like that. And you can see now we've got our two buttons here and essentially what they're doing is they are stacking one on top, uh, one on one on the other vertically, which is nice. And if you click one of these, you can also use these little arrows to switch them around so you can change the placement of the items within our vertical box. So hopefully you guys are starting to see just how useful these boxes are and how you can use some of the basic sort of behavior settings such as alignment, fill, and the hierarchy tab. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.